Okay, this is the buzz coil completely disassembled and all the parts. Um, this video we're going to be doing putting the buzz coil together step by step and I'll be showing you how to make every individual part so there's no mistake. Here you need a marker and some tape. Okay, this is a Napa um, ignition coil that went in like the old 70s trucks or whatever. This is like $20. Alright, we're using a Duralast 58 DLG uh, car battery. Any car battery will work though. Okay, next you need these uh, wire connector splitter things. They're uh, male on two ends up here and female on this end. We're only going to be using two of them. The part number is 784571. Get those at Napa. And you need to take one of them and bend the tab at a 90 degree angle like this. need a 12 volt switch. In this setup I'm using the switch that has the little screws that go into the tabs and a safety cover switch. Here is the 600 volt condenser from Napa and you need a little screw and a nut going through the mounting bracket. And you need a 5 pin relay and it's best if you have a mounting bracket on it and this is a 30 amp relay and the off position is always connected from 30 to 87A. Okay, next is a spark plug wire with spark plug of your choice. I got this at O'Reilly's for three or four bucks. Need a hose clamp that fits around the coil. All right, this is to make uh, section A of the coil. You need to get two negative battery clamps, a 20 inch uh, negative battery cable, and hook those together. And get have the 14 gauge wire coming out, and that is 15 inches long, and at the end of it you want to put a female wire connector. And then put on the piece of tape and put A. Alright, this is section B. And this is an 18 inch piece of 14 gauge wire. You put it in a positive battery clamp. At the other end, put one of those round terminals. Okay, this is section C. You have a three inch 14 gauge wire and a four inch 14 gauge wire. Two of them hooked together on one male terminal. On the other ends of the wires are two females. All right, this is section D. This is a seven inch 14 gauge wire. One end you've got female, the other end you've got the round terminal. All right, this is section E. And it's one inch 14 gauge wire. One end is the circle terminal. One end is the female terminal. On section F, you want one inch piece 14 gauge female terminal on this end female terminal on that end three inch 14 gauge on this piece female terminal on that end okay we're going to start off taking your relay holding it against the coil like this make sure that the positive is on the left side the ground is on the right side and then we're going to take the hose clamp and hose clamp it to the coil. Next step is to take those terminal splitters. You're going to take the one that has the 90 degree bend and you're going to attach it to pin number 30. Just like that. On the other one, you're going to attach it to your positive terminal, just like that. Okay, next step is you're going to take section E, and you're going to attach it to the capacitor. You take the circle terminal and put it on the mounting bracket and put the nut and bolt through it and tighten it up. It doesn't have to be way tight, just as long as they're connected.
All right, the next step is we're going to take section F. This terminal is going to attach to 87A. This terminal is going to attach to terminal 85. And this terminal is going to go to one of the positives. Just like that. And this one will just attach right up here. Okay, next step is we're going to take the capacitor with section E. We're going to attach the capacitor side to one of the pins that are going to terminal 30 on the relay. So let's use this one right there. And then this end we're going to attach to the other positive. Okay, now we're going to take section D. And this one's real easy. You just take this uh, female side and you attach it to the last terminal going to pin number 30. Okay, back out. And then for now that just hangs in the air like that. Alright, now we're going to take section C. We're going to attach one of these terminals to the negative of the coil. Then we're going to take the other female and attach it to pin 86 on the relay. Alright, next we're going to take uh, the switch and attach it to the round terminal end of section D. Okay, now we're going to take section B with the positive battery clamp. We're going to attach this circle terminal to the other part of the switch. Next, we're going to take section A that has the two negative clamps and the 14 gauge wire. We're going to take this female terminal and we're going to attach it to section C that's coming out of the negative of the coil and the negative of the relay. All right, next, you're going to take your spark plug wire with your spark plug and you're going to attach that to the coil tower. All right, next you're gonna take section B and attach the positive clamp to the positive of the battery. And then you're gonna take section A and use the battery clamp that has the two wires coming out of it and attach that to the negative of the battery. All right, now you're gonna take the big thick battery cable that's part of section A coming off the battery and you're gonna attach that to the, spark, the body of the spark plug. And then you are ready to fire it up. Take your switch and turn it on. That's how you make a buzz coil.